Hello everyone, this is Mr. Minecraft, and I'm going to teach you today how to upload videos on YouTube in 1080p. So what you're going to want to do is, well, first to show that I actually can get 1080p, you go to my Let's Play, and you can see I have a 1080p option. Full HD 1080p looks pretty clear. I don't know how clear it's going to look on video, but it, just trust me, it's clear. I have a ton of footage already shot. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Fraps. There's plenty of cracked versions of Fraps out there. I don't, I myself don't, don't have the cracked version of Fraps, but I'm pretty sure you can find it if you just look on the internet for a little bit, because my friend gave me this one. I believe there's one called Beepa Fraps. I don't know. I didn't tool around with it. My friend just gave me this cracked version. So you're also going to want Windows Movie M O V I E Maker. You're gonna want Windows Live Movie Maker. You know it's free. Download now. Yeah, yeah. Then what you're gonna want to do is once you have your little frappity doos, I have mine set on my Capture Hockey is F9. That's just you can pause the video and look at my uh, recording settings because this is what I use to get 1080p. I use the FPS at 30 and I record in full size because I get really bad quality with half, si half size. But normally when I'm playing Minecraft I hide cursor. I don't know, it's just a thing I do. I don't know if it shows up, but this is actually some footage I made a while ago and you're just going to want to open your uh <coughs> open your Minecraft and uh, Minecraft always opens slow for me. I don't know if it's just me or if it's for everybody. And then you log in. Fraps runs, if you have it set, it runs on top of everything. Like, all the time. Yeah, see there my Minecraft, like, locked up for a second. And I do have the Aether mod installed. You could do this without mods. I'm just going to go to the normal theme. Uh, toggle world. Alright, so there we go. I'm in... Oh, it's still showing my sound. Alright, well, I'm in my single player. Pretty much to capture footage, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here and you're going to want to press your capture key, which in my case is F9. I also have, you see this little FPS number down there? That's the frames per second I'm getting. You can change it to corners with this thing. You can go, uh... You can go, uh... Move my Minecraft up to the top left and this down to the bottom right what you can do is once you're in the FPS you can change what corner you want it in you can have it in that corner that corner that corner that corner or you can just hide it all together I like to see what my FPS is but you know I probably should start hiding my FPS and you could have it so it only updates once a second which is kinda weird I just like it showing it telling it how it is and pretty much when you're ready to record I'll just go into my let's play map real quick when you're ready to record, you're just going to want to press F9 again. I'll just log out quick here in my Minecraft. And I have, you can put, when you go over to movies, you, you can change the directory you want your fi videos to save in. So I normally always just put it as, you know, save it on my desktop. Then I put it into my folder for the correct, for the correct series. And then I upload them from the folders. Now this is going to show you how to render in HD. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go up to my little search bar, Windows Movie Maker. You did see that I have Sony Vegas installed, but it is not the full version. And Movie Maker does does the job. So it just says click here to browse for videos and photos. You know, you just click there. Go to your desktop, which is right here and I have that video from a long time ago and this is the video I had just recorded it's short what I always do because I, I tend to talk loud is I go to volume and I turn it down to half I half my volume all the time and uh... then what you're going to do that if you want to fast forward you can you know 64x you can make an audio fade in fade out and I go to home and I, I tend to always put a little animation, you know, I just tend to blur in at the start of each video. Oh, it started the actual video. 
And then you're just going to want to go over here to YouTube. And then you're not going to want to go for the recommended. Unless your size is like over 2 gigabytes with this. And you're not going to want You're going to want to click on that. And then it's going to show you to your, publish on YouTube. You know, I'm not going to log in because I don't want you guys to see how long. Well, I'll do it anyways. Alright. Ah, oh, grr. Invalid. There we go. I just log in right here. You can change the title to Fraps Test How to Record. Um, one. I'm just gonna put one in my <laughs> and one in there. I'm gonna put this in a gaming category because I am playing a game. I'm gonna switch it to private because I'm gonna give you the guys the link to this video if you're on the tech game. And I will put the link in a, or I will put a link in the description to this video of this Fraps test. I just don't want it to clutter my page. Then you just hit publish. Ugh. One, two, one, two, one, two, publish. And then it's gonna save your movie. And once that is finished, you will have uploaded to YouTube, and it will be. I'm pretty sure it will always be in 1080p, unless like something weird happens and you just have totally crappy quality you play on like near fog or whatnot I don't know if that'll ex change the P version or whatever but uh, yeah it's just gonna save and then it's gonna upload and render and you should have a 1080p video once you're done um, this is Mr. Minecraft with a six minute video signing out